Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is going to be another Frugal Friday video. And today I have for you guys a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. You guys really enjoyed my first Dollar Tree DIY. So this time around, I am making two very easy, simple, super quick um, wreaths. And they're going to be mini wreaths. They aren't like the really large ones. I will try to find a large one that I made about maybe I think a year or two ago. I made one with a bunch of um, Christmas bulbs. And that one was a large one they could put on your front door. So I'll leave that one linked down below as well as my previous um Christmas Dollar Tree DIY that I did about a week ago, which was some pillows. So I will leave those two linked down below just in case you guys would like to check those out. But this one is going to be two mini wreaths and this was the easiest DIY ever. Anyone can do it. I did end up adding um, one more thing to this DIY that I didn't show in the beginning, which is just some spray paint. I decided to spray paint the wreath so it can have like a flocked look. My Christmas tree is flocked, so I thought it would go perfect with my decor and I just really like that look. So I just used this one and this is in the color Smoky Beige and I just sprayed a little bit of this spray paint on the wreath to give it that flocked look. I did also end up painting my little wooden um, sign red instead of that like off-white cream color that I originally planned just because it looked too plain. So those are the only two things that I added in to this DIY that I didn't show in the beginning. But hopefully you guys enjoy and I gave you guys some ideas to do for yourself. Like I said, this is super easy. So if you guys feel like you guys aren't good at DIYs or crafts, believe me, all you're doing is painting and gluing so you can definitely make these wreaths. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. All right, you guys. So for this DIY for this Dollar Tree Christmas wreath, these are all the things that you will need. So you will need some hot glue sticks, a hot glue gun. You will need some paint if you guys are going to paint so like I am. I'm going to be painting that Merry and Bright sign. So I just have this acrylic paint and this is apple barn and color antique white and I got this from Walmart and then I might do a little bit of this gold glitter in there as well a paintbrush and then whatever you would like to put in the center of your wreath so I chose this season's greeting sign and then just this plain wooden merry and bright sign this is what I plan on painting and then two of these little greenery um, wire wreaths there are three different sizes that Dollar Tree sells and I have both of them in the 18 inch ones. So this is everything that you will need for your DIY. All right, you guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and paint this merry and bright wooden sign. Although I did end up changing it to a red color just because I felt like it was too plain when I painted it with this color. So you are gonna see me paint it. And then later on, I'm going to go in and paint it again with the red paint. And then I did go over it with the glitter gold paint just to add a little bit of like sparkle to it. And this also was not planned, but I decided to go ahead and spray paint the wreaths so it can have that flocked look. I am obsessed with the flocked look and our Christmas tree is flocked, so I thought it would go perfect with our decor. So I went ahead and gave it one good coat on both sides. And now that the wreaths are dry from the spray paint, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of the hot glue underneath where I would like to glue the sign down. I did put quite a bit of glue just because I did not want it to fall off. The sign honestly is not that heavy, but I just wanted to make sure that it was going to stay in place. And now it is time to glue the Mary and Bright wooden sign down to the other wreath. And this is before I decided to paint it red. I glued it down and after looking at it, I just felt like it was just too plain. So then I went ahead and grabbed some red acrylic paint, which I already had on hand. I bought from Walmart and I gave it a good coat. And then I did go over it with the glitter um, gold paint. And 
then here I am just giving it a coat of the red paint first I was just trying to add a little bit of red to see how it would look if I mixed the colors but I just didn't like how that looked either so I went ahead and just gave it one really good coat of red paint all over and then I thought I filmed myself painting it with the glitter gold paint but I didn't but I did go in after with some glitter and I put it on top just because I wanted it to have a little sparkle. Right, you guys so this is how the first wreath came out i am going to go back to dollar tree and buy some of like their garland and wrap it around just to make it look a little fuller because it is very thin right now but this is how the first one comes out or came out and this is the one that says season's greeting i did end up spray painting it like i said so that is the first and one. this is how the second one came out i did end up um painting it red instead of that first color i showed you guys just because it looked so like bland also, I want to do the same thing where I'm going to wrap a little more garland around so it can look a little more fuller. And then I'm thinking about buying like mini Christmas bulbs and then gluing them around. If I do end up doing that, you guys will see it in my um, Christmas house tour. So this is how this one turned out. I did paint it red and then I went over it with that gold glitter um, paint. And that's how so it that is out. going to end today's frugal friday video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are enjoying all of my frugal friday videos this is i think my third or fourth one so hopefully you guys are enjoying it i'm going to continue doing it for a few more weeks and see how it turns out and see if you guys would like me to continue uploading these types of videos on friday as always thank you so much for watching today's video if you have not already please consider subscribing i would love to have you be a part of my youtube family also turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos also leave in the comments down below any diys or any frugal friday type videos you guys would like to see for the upcoming weeks and maybe i can go ahead and film those for you guys i do have other ideas written down that i might do but just leave any suggestions down below and i'll definitely take into consideration to film soon all right guys so thanks so much for watching i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you guys next time bye